Hey everybody, this is Jason, the Science Outreach Manager and Science Educator here at the Children's Museum of Houston. And today I'm in the Eco Station to show you how to make a fossil cast, which we have an example of right here. This right here is a theropod foot. Fossils can be both imprints and actually like bones that you can hold. This would be considered an imprint and I'm going to show you how to make both kind of at the same time. Before we get into it though, very, very quick, quick explanation of what a fossil is. A fossil is, like I said, either an imprint or a piece of an animal, typically bones, but sometimes it can be skin, eggs, other things like that, that has been taken over by sediments, which are rocks, and after millions and millions and millions of years, any of the organic matter, which would be like your skin or the organs inside, have gone away and there's this sort of left behind piece that is uh, an imprint or a model, if you will, of what was there, like the bone or the egg or the skin or the footprint. So a lot of people really, really think that fossils like begin and end with dinosaurs, which is great because dinosaurs are awesome. But there are species that were alive long before the dinosaurs and went extinct before the dinosaurs that there are lots and lots of fossils of. I actually have one right here. This little guy right here is a trilobite and they were alive 400 million years ago. So they were kind of in the same era as some of the earlier dinosaurs possibly, but for the most part, most of them went extinct before dinosaurs were even around shows you how old the earth is and really how old the universe is. So this right here is a real fossil. So why do I make a fossil cast? I make a fossil cast so that you can share it with other people. I may not want to take my fossil to a big group of people because it could get mistakenly lost and then I'll be out of fossil. But if I take my cast to a big group of people and say, hey, look, I made this fossil cast. It, if it gets lost, I can just make another one. So I'm going to take this real fossil and make a cast. Now, because it does take a bit of time, I've already pre-made some of the fossil cast so you can see it step by step so you can get an idea of what you're gonna have at the end. Okay, let's get going. First, get like a souffle cup like this, all right? And then get some clay. I recommend um, plasticine clay, which is a really good sturdy clay. The reason being is you're gonna first make an imprint of your fossil. So you wanna get a good chunk of it out like this, and then let's go ahead and roll it into a ball. Now, if you don't have plasticine clay, it's okay. You can use like Play-Doh or whatnot. I just say this is a little bit better. And then I'm actually gonna take a little bit off. I got a little bit too much possibly, roll in a ball, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna smush it down on the bottom of my souffle cup. I'm gonna spread it out. Okay, so you can see I'm spreading it out. Okay, so. That's our first step. Our next step is to take our fossil and then stick it inside and push it down to get our imprint. Now, why are trilobites good to do that? Because there's lots of them around. I wouldn't really recommend this. If you actually find a dinosaur tooth or you know claw or anything like that, don't do this method. I use the trilobites even though it's real because it's actually, there's so many of them around, it's pretty okay to do so. So you press it down and then you're gonna dig it out, and as you can see, you have an imprint. That right there is your imprint. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take plaster of Paris, and you wanna take water, and you're gonna mix them together in a separate cup. Now, this is a little bit of the tricky part because it's difficult to really know how much plaster of Paris you need, but I'll give you this hint. The less chunky it is, the better. It'll dry faster, but you still want this to dry over 24 hours, no matter what. So I'm gonna get myself some cups here, and I'm gonna get myself some measuring spoons, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the plaster of Paris. I'm gonna scoop out about a tablespoon of plaster of Paris, put it inside my cup, and then I'm gonna take a tablespoon of water as well and put it inside my cup. And then I'm gonna take this right here, which is a chopstick, and I'm gonna stir it up. All right. Okay, so now I got a good consistency. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in until it covers it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the top on, and then you're gonna tap it a few times. 
One, two, three. This gets air bubbles out of the plaster of Paris so that when it dries, there's no big holes in it or anything like that. Now I started making one and this is it right here. This one right here isn't quite ready to open up, but when you're ready to open up, all you need to do is take some scissors and cut down the side, okay? And then you unwrap it around and then you're gonna pop it off. And when you pop it off, you're gonna get something that looks like this. Okay, so remember, once you have the plaster of Paris inside, set it somewhere, let it dry for 24 hours, and then you can go ahead and if you want to paint it or something like that, you can paint it brown, gray, anything you want. Okay, so that's how you make a fossil cast. Okay, so I'm really proud of the fossil cast I made because it looks a lot like a trilobite. So if you're proud of the fossil cast that you make, please take a picture of it or take a video of you doing it, a whole process, and go ahead and post it to our social media. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, we have it all. Also, if you are watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that red um, subscribe button. That way you'll get notifications of all the cool science videos we do, our Mr. O oh, oh, Wow moments, our Tater Tot Tot tunes, our story times, all the good stuff. With that, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you think about fossils and dinosaurs throughout the whole day and urge your parents to allow you to make some fossil casts when you get home. And I do hope to see you at the museum soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye for now.